Okay, in this video, I'm going to show y'all how to play defense and how it works whenever you're playing against a team that it had this kind of offense uh, set up. When they had a two-man down low and they got the three-man up top. Okay? And just remember, remember the zones. This is the one three one trap zone. Okay? Anytime the ball comes in your zone, you trap. Okay? Now, the one-man, again, the one-man has the top half of the court. The two man has the bottom half of the court. The three man got the left side of the court, the whole left side. The four man got the right side of the court. Five man, he got the paint. Okay, whenever the ball is in your zone, you trap. When the ball is not in your zone, you deny the pass. Okay, so say for instance, if the one man passes the ball to the two man, okay, again, is at the top. And it's on the left side. Okay. So that means the one man, he got the top. Three man, he got the left side. So that means those two will come and trap the ball. Okay. Now the four man, the ball is where? On the left side of the court and not in his zone. So that means whenever the ball's on the left side of the court, the four man, what? He got to deny the pass. Again, now it's two people right here. But we want to take that closest pass away. So he's going to deny that pass. Don't worry about that guy. Two man, you know, two man, he follows the ball. Okay. He's always lined up with the ball. But he don't have nobody to get on so he can just guard this man right here. So he did not a pass from this guy. Now the five man, you just drop in the middle. Okay. Just drop in the middle. Because that way you can watch this guy. And you can watch this guy if he flash right here. Okay? Now, if he decides to pass the ball to this guy, you easily going to steal it. You're going to get back here and get that. Okay? If he this guy flash, then he throw the ball to this guy, then you can easily get that. Okay? So that's why I want you... Right here, when the ball is at the top, I want you right there in the middle. Even though you got a guy behind you right here, you just watching that. You watching your back though, still, because you know that guy right there. So you just stand right there, kind of you know, watching that guy and that guy. All right, got that one. Okay, now let's set it back up. Okay, put the one back here, ball here, four. You go back that side. One, three, two, and again. In this setup right here, whenever it's, whenever it's two down low, the three up top, the five man, since you don't have nobody up here to, to, uh, to play D on, what you do, you would just drop down. Drop down in the middle, right there. Okay? Now, say if, instead of this, say if the guy passed the ball to this side. Okay? Pass it this way. All right? It's at the top half of the court, and it's on the right side. Okay, you know, the one man got the top half of the court. The three man, he got the right side of the court. I mean, the four man, he got the right side of the court. So that means the one man and the four man will go trap. Okay. Three man, when the ball is on the right side of the court, he denies the pass. Take that pass away, that closest pass away. Two man, you know, you follow the ball. Nobody out there to get on you to deny the pass, so you deny the pass on this guy. Five man, you stay right in the middle. Doing the same thing when the ball's on that side. You stand in the middle. Because while they trapping him, if he try to pass the ball to this guy, you're going to easily steal it. Because you're right there. And he just right here. If this guy happens to try to flash up and he try to pass the ball, you can easily steal the ball. Okay? All right. Got that? Let's set it back up. Okay, now, say if the one decides not to pass the ball, he want to dribble that way. Okay? And you know, if he dribble that way, this guy going to slide down when he dribble. So say if he tries to dribble this way. You know, the one going to still be on him. He's going to dribble that way. The ball coming on that side. So what's what going to happen? 
three man, you're going to come up. You're going to set the trap. Okay. Two man, you know, you always following the ball. And when the ball is at the top of the court, what are you doing? Denying the pass. Okay, the ball's at the top, and now you got somebody to go deny the pass from up at the top. So you would have to come from here to go here and take that pass away. Okay? Because the trap is at the top. The ball at the top, you always deny the pass, the closest pass. So you would come and take that pass away. Five man, you stay in the middle again. Four man, what side the ball on? The ball is on the left side. And you you know, you got the right side. Anytime the ball's on the left, what you do? You deny the pass. So you would deny this pass. Okay? Now, if this guy, so you're not a five man, he can watch both of them. That's why I, tell him, that's why I say get in the middle. Because if you try to pass here, you can easily get it. You try to pass here, you can easily get it. But say, for instance, if this guy, number four man, flashes up. Okay? Then you come up with him, but you still stand in between the ball and the goal. Okay? Because if you throw the ball here, you can go, you know, play D on him. Now, say if this guy flares up, you just still stay in the middle. What you don't want to do is, you don't want to, if this guy right here flares up, you don't want to flash up with him because you flash up with him. Then he got an easy. I mean, even though he's getting trapped, it's going to be hard. But he maybe can get the ball straight down. He'll have an easier pass. to straight down, a straight forward pass. Okay? So that's why you stand in the middle. Now, if this guy flash up and you stay in the middle and you playing D on him like this, it's going to be hard for him to see this guy right here. He ain't better to get that pass down there. It's going to be hard. If he come up and he trying to throw the ball this way, then you can easily bam. Okay? So that's why, you know, you always in the middle. When the ball at the top, you just right there in that middle. Okay? This guy flash up. You try to throw that ball. Poop, you got it. This guy flash up. Bam. Now you can guard him. The close side guy. You can guard that. Take that easy pass away. See? With this guy, he's the far side guy. See? He's the far side. So you don't really have to follow him. You just stay right here in the middle. If he comes up, because he throw that ball, you can easily jump and get it. Number five, man. Now, he's the closest guy. So if he flashes up, then you can actually flash up with him because it's going to be hard for him to get the ball to him while you playing defense on him. Okay. Set it back up. Okay. Now, say if the ball, let's try this side right here. Say the ball happens to get in this corner over here. Okay. Say this guy right here. Say the ball happens to get over here in this corner, some kind of way. Even though we know that the two man follows the ball, and most of the time they try to throw that ball in that corner from up top, the two man will easily come and steal it. But let's just say he luckily get it over there. Okay. Two man. That's the bottom of the court. That's his zone. So he got the trap. Four man, he got the trap because he got the right side of the court and the ball's over here. Okay. Now the one man, you know that guy probably going to run and you take that pass away because the ball is in the bottom of the court. Whenever the ball is in the bottom of the court, what the one man do? The one man denies the pass. Okay. So he denying that pass. Okay. Five man. The ball is in the bottom of the court. What you doing? You going to deny that pass. Three man, when the ball's in the corner, he comes to the middle, right below the free throw. Okay? Right below the free throw. Now, when the five man, when you're denying the pass and the ball is at the bottom of the court, I don't want you behind him. I want you to get in front of him. Okay? Because if you be behind him, he might can pass the ball to him. But if you get in front of him, then he can't pass that ball to him. Okay? And the reason the three man gets in the middle because he can watch this guy and this guy. Okay? And with a good trap, it's going to be hard for this guy to throw this ball all the way over here. By the time he try to throw that ball all the way over here in that trap, this guy can easily run and steal that pass. 
And he can't get it to this guy back here because he getting trapped. He got a man here and he got the gold. So he's not going to be able to get it to this guy here. And again, the three man is watching. So if he do try some kind of try to get it over there, three man going to easily steal that. We can steal this. That's why you always go in the middle. Okay. Now let's do the other side, other corner. Let's do the other corner right fast. Say the ball happens to get in this corner. Okay. You know the one man. Say the ball gets in this corner. Right here. Two man. That's your, that's your zone. Three man. That's your zone. Okay. Ball is at the bottom of the court. What the one man be doing? Denying the pass. What the five man doing? Denying the pass. What the four man doing? Okay. Four man. When the ball's in the corner. Again. When the ball's in the corner. On the opposite side that you play defense on, you go to the middle, right below the free throw line. Okay? So you can watch both of these guys while they trapping him. He tried to throw the ball here, you can easily get it. He tried to throw the ball down here, you can easily get it. So that's why you're always in the middle, right below the free throw line. 